I'd like to call the meeting to order uh, at 7.30. Would you please stand for the opening prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance, please? Mr. Gopal. Our Father, we are here to conduct matters of business. Guide our hearts and our minds in the spirit of fairness, bright thought, and speech. Impart your supreme wisdom upon our activities so that our affairs may reach a successful conclusion. Thank you for being the source of our guidance tonight. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. This roll call is Lorraine is absent. Reed? Here. Mathis is absent. Krug is present. Kessler? Here. Gopal? Here. And Tucker is absent. We luckily have a quorum. <clears throat> First thing we need to do in the absence of the, our supervisor is to appoint a temporary chair. I move Clerk Krug. Support. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same side. Thank you. Uh, just to let those that are out here in the audience know this is a recorded meeting. If you do speak, you need to give us your name, but you don't have to give us your address, if that helps. And you can see this on channel 191. Uh, next is approval of the agenda. Are there any additions or corrections to the agenda? One thing I would like to add to the agenda is uh, planning a, a workshop special meeting next Monday. Okay, moving right along. Uh, all, I'm gonna need a motion to approve the agenda as amended. So, Support. What time's the workshop, sir? What time would you like it? I'm open all day. Seven? Want seven or you want six and I'll bring some food in. Six good for you guys. I can do six. Okay. Six. Let's do six and that sounds okay? Okay. For six o'clock for the special. We'll have to notify the other board members. Yes, please. Okay, uh, <clears throat> next is meeting minutes. In the packet are the minutes from the November 18th regular meeting. Are there any corrections or requested revisions of these minutes? Hearing none, the meeting minutes stand approved as presented. Next are expenditures. Are there any questions regarding the invoices? If not, I, I need a motion it is an order to approve the total expenditures of $24,276.47 for payment. Support for 47 cents. I'm sorry. You said $47. After I'm you sorry, said 47 you. cents. 276 and the 47 number. cents. Okay, support. Roll call, Tom. Or I'll move it. I'll support. There you go. Okay, Lorraine is absent. Reed? Yes. Mathis is absent. Krug? Yes. Kessler? Yes. Gopal? Yes. Tucker's absent. Motion carries. Thank you. The first is a public hearing tonight on the proposed 2020 Fenton Township uh, budget. It was distributed to everyone on November 18th, and we need to have a public hearing on it. Mr. Broker, is there anything you'd like to say, please? Yeah, I'll just point out a, a few things uh, before we open it up for any public comment. Um, the general fund, uh, the only change I made between the preliminary uh, version I gave out two weeks ago and the one you have tonight, I did because we were showing a, a surplus, I threw, I put some more money in the road budget just because I think we're going to need a little bit more. You know, that Whitaker project got pushed back and looks like the costs are going up. So I did put some more money into the, uh, 
into the road budget. We are still showing a projected surplus in the general fund, uh, a little over 100,000 for the year. Um, the fire fund, um, modest surplus there. Uh, of course, this year we bought the new truck, so we pretty much depleted our reserves, and, and now we start building back up again. Uh, dog park was no change. Uh, the solid waste management, um, again showing a small surplus. We straight lined the assessment, even though the, the contract would go up each year. So the first two years, we in theory should have a small surplus. Then the second two years, it would be a small de deficit and even out in the end. This is the 2020 would be year two of four. Uh, mosquito control, again, we're showing a, a deficit. We're using up some excess reserves, although we come in under budget every year. It, it, we're not eating into it very much, but uh, we're trying. Uh, and then in, in the sewer fund, we're projecting uh, adding uh, a decent amount to the cash reserves based on uh, projected cash flows. Uh, if there are any specific questions on any of it, I'd be happy to answer them. Okay, uh, at this point, uh, we need uh, you to read resolution. Oh, you need to ask for public comment. Huh? You need to ask for public That's right. I apologize. Anyone out there want to comment in any aspect of the proposed 2020 budget? I'm sorry? Can't say anything different. Okay. Uh, okay. Now we can do the resolution. Hmm? Now we can do the resolution. Yeah. The, uh, resolution 2019-51 is a general uh, appropriation resolution. Like resolution to formally adopt the Fenton Township budget. Mr. Broker, please. Yes, I won't go through the whole thing. Um, it's rather lengthy. Uh, same format we've used every year. It does spell out the uh, estimated revenues by fund, estimated expenditures by department within fund, um, which match the spreadsheets that you saw. Uh, it does adopt the budget um, by cost center, so uh, as long as an individual department amount doesn't exceed the budget, it does not create a budget violation. It allows for uh, transferring between line items in the same department. Uh, the appropriation is not a mandate to spend, and as, as always, we, uh, if we don't spend the money, then it's, it's left in the, in the fund balance to, to carry forward. Um, that the uh, chief administrative officer, the supervisor, has the ability to, to transfer uh, between line items uh, with, the budget, with the board approval after the fact. Uh, requires periodical, periodic fiscal reports to the members of the board. Um, that's pretty much it. So the, the, mo the resolution number is 2019-51, and that it formally adopts the 2020 budget. So moved. Support. Roll call. Krug. Yes. Mathis is absent. Kessler. Yes. Reed. Yes. Gopal. Yes. Tucker's absent. Lorraine is absent. Motion carries. Resolution's adopted. Thank you. Are there any reports from any of the committees on the board. Okay. The next is the communication from uh, the Genesee County on the ORV ordinance. I, I believe uh, we all received copies from Commissioner Shoemaker and Mr. Broker. Uh, this is the actual resolution but yeah. also just notification that there will be a public hearing on January 15, 2020 at 9 a.m. in the Harrison Auditorium. What's in the packet is the notice we got from the county clerk's office. I requested a copy of the actual ordinance uh, which I did not receive until over the weekend so I did forward that to everybody earlier today if you had a chance to see it with the actual language. And it and, um, looks like they're just looking to adopt something according to state law for, for off-road vehicles to ride um, you know, on county roads or along next to county roads within the right-of-way. So I, um, 
if, if the board members have any strong feelings, then obviously the, uh, the public hearing will be a place to convey those. Attorney Belzer? Yeah. What that ordinance does, it only allows for county roads, not, you know, other roads, like not subdivision or anything. And there are certain requirements that under the state law, and they kind of sort of allude to it in their ordinance. We can opt out of that. So even if the county passed that ordinance, the township could say, you know, we don't want that to happen within our township. So if that passed at the county level, and they didn't have an attachment with whatever roads they're talking about in any of them. But if it does pass at the county level under state law, we can opt out of that. So we're not obligated to allow that. Yeah, I, I read the ordinance that, the proposed ordinance, and it looked like it was pretty broad, that they weren't narrowing it to certain roads. They were just saying any county roads that met the definition mm -hmm. in the code. Um, and that was my question exactly, Jack, is could we either opt out of it or limit it in some form? Yes. And, but they're supposed to designate that. They have an exhibit A that has nothing on it. Well, well my one concern is, and I think anybody that's been around the Fenton Township area, it seems like there's a lot of young individuals driving ORVs or golf carts, and I'm afraid if they aren't trained or wearing the appropriate safety equipment, they very well could get hurt. But maybe that's just the grandpa in me trying to cover but, it. But And I think some of the stipulations and requirements that are in the proposed yeah, ordinance I know they said, yeah, would allow that's... the sheriffs and you know the municipal departments to crack down on that. I'm not sure that there's anything right now um, in the code, but this defines ages and safety requirements yeah. and you know driver's license, that type of thing. So that may be a good thing. Within the state law. Yeah. Well, it's good to know we can opt out if that's the choice of the board so okay there are no adoption of ordinances unfinished business the next is a resolution honoring Leandra Andy Bagley Tom yes resolution 2019-52 whereas Leandra Andy Badgley retired from employment with Fenton Township as of November 30th of this year. And whereas Ms. Badgley was employed by Fenton Township for more than 17 years, during which time she contributed greatly to the growth and improvement of township operations and services, working as a front desk receptionist and serving in the capacity of election coordinator. And whereas as a member of the front desk team, Ms. Badgley was a true face of the township, providing consistently courteous and efficient customer service to township residents throughout her years of employment. And whereas as election coordinator, Ms. Badgley contributed greatly to the quality of election operations by overseeing the election inspector roster and managing the issuance of absent voter ballots for every election, both vitally important for the success of Fenton Township elections. And whereas Ms. Badgley served loyally and faithfully as a valued member of the Fenton Township staff from 2002 to 2019, demonstrating the qualities of dedication and professionalism as well as a true commitment to public service throughout her 17 years of employment. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Township Board of the Charter Township of Fenton hereby recognizes Andy Badgley for her valuable contributions to the development of the Township services and overall operations and to the Fenton Township community as a whole and expresses sincere appreciation and gratitude for her dedicated service to the government and citizens of Fenton Township. Be it further resolved that this resolution be spread upon the minutes of this meeting and a copy provided to Ms. Badgley. So moved. Support. I did provide a copy the last day Andy was here and everybody started crying so much it kind of broke up the whole party, but uh, she will be missed and I will vote no if it would keep her here, but it won't, so roll call, Tom. Reed. Yes. Gopal. Yes. Tucker's absent. Kessler. Yes. Lorraine is absent. Krug. Yes. Mathis is absent. Motion carries. Resolution is adopted. Thank you. The next uh, are the proposed extension of the existing agreement for the Linden Road uh, property from Genesee County. Mr. Broker, please. Yes, um, in the memo in the packet, I, uh, let me find it 
here. Um, when we had the lengthy public comment discussion in October, um, one of the ideas that came out of that was, well, what if we just extend the current agreements a few months um, to provide a little more time to, to set the long-term uh, destination of all this? So uh, a letter was sent to County Parks and Rec. Uh, they took it to their meeting. They approved a four-month extension of the existing license agreement with the township a copy of which is in your packet. So we've drafted a, a companion piece to go with that, which would, uh, if, if the board approves that, then um, for board consideration would be a four month extension of the existing sub-license between the township and AYSO. This would effectively extend the current arrangement four more months through June of 2020, um, which would allow AYSO to proceed with their spring 2020 season as planned and provide additional time to develop the long-term direction for management of the property. Any comments, questions? A typo. I'm sorry? Uh, there's a typo, not like a matters. Yeah. What it says is would be permitted to use in maintenance of park lands. Use and maintain, I think, is what it meant. But, and that's in both documents. Oh, exactly. I copied theirs. <laughs> okay. Right. They yeah. did it wrong, and I, I gathered, yeah. Okay. Well, we can fix that easily. Okay. Enough. That's, and I should have called you sooner. I forgot. Okay. So, yeah. firstly, I need... Firstly? First, I need a motion to approve the amendment to the Fenton Township lease between Fenton Township and Genesee County Parks and Rec Commission as presented. So moved. Support. Roll call, please. Mathis is absent. Kessler? Yes. Krug? Yes. Gopal? Yes. Tucker's absent. Lorraine is absent. Reed? Yes. Motion carries. Okay, next is the sub license agreement. Do you want to explain that, Tom? Well, it's, it's basically, you know, we, we have, I think I included with the packet the original documents, which right. are rather lengthy and, and not real fun to read, but um, the, the, action just taken extends the license between the township and the county through the end of June and now the next motion would would do the same with the sub license between the count the township and AYSO which in the two documents pretty much mirror each other <coughs> any comments or question Amy does that work for you to get you through your season I just have one question. Is that June the 30th of 2020? Yes. June 30th, 2020. Okay. And um, yes, that works for me. And then I have tried to contact Southern Lakes um, with their new person. She has not contacted me back in the last two weeks. I have also directed a contract that would fit um, AYSO Nationals and Orza, so there would be no issues in giving each playing time and also would give AYSO the benefit that we would still maintain the fields so that the workers and that does put into our budget, the AYSO budget with the amount of money coming in and I'm working on sponsors that we would be fixing the bathrooms and also would be fixing the roads which is how this whole thing started was I wanted to fix the road. I do know that with the county I do have to follow all the permits and everything and I have to get approval by the Genesee County Board. But I just wanted to let you know that since our last meeting, I have done some work and um, I have Rick Miracle, who is um, the national director. Um, he did send it over to Nancy. And so we are working very hard to make sure that all three soccer organizations are all happy. Everybody's good. AYSO will maintain it. And um, so we're all good. Okay. Well, what I would ask is let do what you're, let's continue and list finalize these agreements so that we don't have a panic situation in May or June. I mean, for anybody. So, and if need be, we can facilitate a meeting here at the township if we need to get all the players together. Yeah, so. right now I think our biggest problem is, is that um, Southern Lakes is trying to get somebody in there, which I'm sure is very difficult, and I know that they're right now dealing with the renewal of Fenton schools, and yep. I think they have a lot going on right now. But um, hopefully in January we will be able to either sit here or somewhere else and get that all taken care of. Okay, but this fits to get you through your season, right? It fits perfect. Okay. 
I need a motion to approve the amendment to EYSO sub-license agreement between Fenton Township and Region 417 American Youth Soccer Organization as presented. So moved. Support. Roll call, please. Gopal. Yes. Tucker's absent. Lorraine is absent. Mathis is absent. Crew. Yes. Reed. Yes. Kessler. Yes. Motion carries. Are there any comments or questions from any of the board members? I do have something from the deputy assessor who also is the union steward. I was going to work it tonight, but the full board isn't here. Let's just add it on uh, to our workshop next Monday and that way we can discuss it. It's about the working between Christmases. We have plenty of time. What's in the workshop, Bob? I would hope that we would cover one, uh, now this with the union's request on Christmas holiday, compensation for our managers, and the selection of the process for special assessments, especially right now for Ruth and Margaret Drive. Okay. Okay? Yes, sir. And I make it a special because that way we can also take action if we so choose. Oh, okay. Is there anybody in the audience that would like to say anything to the board, please? I'm sorry? It's public comment, so whatever you have comment, to say about anything. Just Tom will draw on the assistant section director for five states. If, if possible, can I ask the one of the trustees to mentor this meeting between us and the, the other company? Um, national, then probably the board of Southern Lakes, maybe. But the other, who's doing the, the scheduling after me? Southern Lakes. Southern Lakes. Southern Lakes. What I'd like to do is, if, if, can I ask one of you to help mentor that process to make sure it happens? I will facilitate. Like I will facilitate it. If That's all I need is a few days' notice, I, I ask that if that helps. If, if, if things work out well and we can do it on our own, we'll, we'll cancel that meeting. But I'd like to put something formal in there so people have to. We have to move because there's decisions that have to be made on both ends. Whatever right. they become. Right. So. Rob Kessler and, and I both sit on that board for Southern Lakes as well. And with the recent changes, we have had discussions at our last meeting that we need to keep moving. Like just because we've gotten this extension, we cannot slow down. We need to pick up the ball and, In reality, and lies, keep moving it, forward it lies because six months, which is great. Right. But there's still another deadline sitting out there. Absolutely. And if we delay for three months, then we're going to be back in the same situation of not having all of the answers. So, yes, it's a priority for us and for the 2020 goals and objectives is to get that, that through yes, to set the set finish time line. But tentatively set a time and a date that both parties can come together with. You know, I'd like to, if we could, to do it in early January. I'm all for it. I have no problem with that um just to, to keep it going just yeah i did talk to shoemaker and his thing was that he wasn't sure if southern lakes was going to be ready for like because rick and i have both talked to him at least twice in the last mm -hmm. week and his comments to both of us is southern lakes is not set right now with an an permanent employee so mm -hmm. well i only say that hoping they're ready but if not if we're ready, if they have to go to February, at least we're still ready. Okay. I, I mean, I would prefer that it be in January because realistically, we have another deadline in March. Mm -hmm. so. Well, and. I mean, for us, I mean. Yeah. No, I'm just trying to keep the process going. That's exactly yeah. what I'm after. Tentatively puts a stake in the ground that we can move. Yeah. At least put it in there formally. Okay, then I will um, send it to to Mr. Roper and we start setting a date with you or do I email you personally? You can, they can find me no matter where I'm at. Okay, the only thing that I ask is that They found me in Deer Blind, Salmon Streams. I can't hide. I'm Broker and that way you can send it to all of us. Yeah, I would ask you to send it to Mr. Okay, Broker because 
Mr. Yeah, Gopal like and Mr. Kessler are on the Townships Park and Rec Committee, and both mm -hmm. Mr. Kessler and Christine are on the Southern Lakes Park and Board. Okay. So I just asked if the meeting be later because I work in Rochester. So. No. What time? What, what's a good time as far as start for you? Um, well. Ideal world, not before six, but it's fine. I would okay. second that with you. That's fine. I mean, <laughs> six is fine. If no, you you fix the time. Or, I'll I mean, be there if I can. If not, so. somebody else will I, be. I just I didn't know like before when we got Southern Lakes meetings, they were only between twelve and three. So I just wanted to make sure that we could have them later in the afternoon. I'm sure they're flexible. All right, well, is there anything else on the soccer part? No, in fact, if there's no more public comment, there's no more any part. I'll adjourn the meeting at 8 o'clock. <laughs>